Hi everyone, Stats Trader is here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you a simple trick that I use in trading so I can get max return from a trade. So for this video, I'll be using a dip buy strategy. This is the strategy that I've showed you about six months ago. So I'm gonna be using a spreadsheet uh, for this particular strategy. So if you haven't seen this video, please go ahead and click on the link and go ahead and watch it so that you have an idea how do I track data and how do I analyze the data. Okay, so let's suppose, let's suppose we have all of these data here. Uh, these are the data for uh, um, our dip buy strategy and I took the 60 entries from my own spreadsheet we're gonna build the bell curve to show all the data um, and what we're gonna be focused on we're gonna be focused on the parabolic decline percentage because this percentage right here is associated with the risk right let's do the recap real quick of our strategy so for those of you who don't remember I dropped to seven and then what you want to do you want to buy it here right but you want to count for risk so what's your chance what's the chance of a stock going actually lower so from here what's the chance that it's gonna go lower than 30% what if it goes 50% 60% and lower than that so that's exactly what we're gonna do and we're also gonna normalize this data and uh, create a uh, standard normal distribution of these uh, low percentages right so first thing we need is something called standard deviation increments um, <clears throat> so whenever you look at the data it looks something like bell shape so you have mean in the middle and you have standard deviation so that's exactly what we need to do here um, and there's three standard deviations here so we're gonna start with negative three and then we'll add increments so we're gonna make a reference equals we're gonna take this one plus 0.1 that will make our um, shape standard uh, standard distribution shape uh, it's gonna make it really smooth and then we're gonna shoot it all the way down to three so we don't really need this extra junk here so we delete it so we have our standard uh, deviation increments and of course your mean so how do you calculate the mean here um, i should have started with this it's just the average so you take average of your parabolic decline and ag again if you're confused what it, what's going on there is a video um, how to track statistics for dip by strategy so yeah watch this video first now we take the average of parabolic decline um, so highlight this average decline is 36 percent now the same thing we do for standard deviation so standard deviation for parabolic decline percentage the same thing we capture it we get eight percent and then uh, next thing we need to do is uh, we need to take our mean minus standard deviation and times it by three so let's go ahead and do that so equals mean minus standard deviation times three we get our 11 percent right so now we need to uh, divide it by 10 uh, because why do we do that because our increments are 10 percent each uh, from the previous formula so let's go ahead and do that so we're gonna make a reference to the previous cell so equals this one uh, we're gonna plus this thing and we're gonna anchor it because standard deviation doesn't change um, and then we're gonna divide it by 10 just like that what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag it down shoot it all the way down and so we got all of these data here now you need to normalize it to make it a really pretty curve now how how do we normalize it so there's a formula it's called um, normal distribution and we'll make our first reference is going to be this here this cell here comma mean and we're also going to anchor our mean 
Next thing is uh, standard deviation. We're also going to anchor standard deviation and we're going to put false here in the cell. And we see that we normalized our data and we shoot it all the way down just like that. So now we're going to create a normal standard distribution curve for these two. So what do we do? We select these two, highlight and select them. We go to insert and we pick it's called um, scatter with smooth lines data so once we get this we can uh, drag it out a little bit just like that so since the prerequisite for the strategy is a stock has to drop at least 30 percent before we even think about buying the stock right and it has the drop has to occur intraday so it's not two days not five days not three months it has to drop within one day period so we we don't really care about a drop that is lower than 30 percent and i don't really track the drop that is lower than 30 percent so we need to count for that and we need to format our axis here minimum let's say 0.2 let's see how it looks yeah so that's our bell shape but let's do point one first so that's these are our parabolic decline percentages uh, evenly distributed right so now we need to focus on the standard deviations we need to focus so these standard deviations will actually tell us the percentage chance or likelihood of a stock going further than where you bought it so first of all um, let's put minimum to 20 percent and maximum at 70 percent just because like i said before we don't really care about anything lower than 30 percent okay so now let's put our standard deviations and our mean. So we go to insert shapes, pick this, um, and our mean is 30, or what was it? Yeah, so our mean is 36%. So let's go ahead and do that. Shapes, line. Let's find 36, 36%. Uh, so right here, this is your mean. And let's make it thicker so we can actually see it. So this is your mean, 36%. And I'm going to just tell you what it means. So it means that on average, a stock drops from its open price to its lowest point, 36%, right? Now, next what do we do we insert a one standard deviation away so shapes and one standard deviation away is going to be what it's going to be 44 percent so let's find 44 percent on our curve so right here 44 percent and then let's make it also thick so 44 percent is here and then next standard deviation is what 52% right so we're gonna insert the same thing shapes let's find 52% so it's right here <clears throat> right here wait let's make it thick now let's go to paint and let's see um, let's interpret these data and what this chart means uh, percentage wise so let's look at the chart here so mean parabolic decline is 36 percent right now these are all declines of our data uh, of our low percentage so 36 percent 44 percent and 52 percent now these are all percentages so we know that on average it drops only 36 percent that's your that's the mean right here so 36 percent if a stock drops 
thirty percent. Um, you know, on average, it's going to drop thirty six percent from its uh, open. Now, there's two deviations here. So one here, one here. Again, we don't really care about this one. Why? Because we don't track anything lower that dropped lower than thirty. Um, that dropped less than thirty percent. Sorry. So that's why we don't really care about that. Thus, it's safe to say that there's a sixty-eight percent chance that a stock is gonna drop thirty-six percent or forty-four percent. So right here. 44% or less. So the drop can be 30%, you know, 40%, 10%, 15%. But look at it this way. In 68% of chances, a stock is going to drop 44% or less. Or according to my data, 44% or 30%. So the drop is going to be between 30% to 44% because why I do not track anything less than 30% so 30 to 44% drop there's a 68% chance that this is what's gonna happen now what's the chance that it's the drop is gonna be 52% okay so the chance that the drop is gonna be less than 52% or 52% is in fact, the highest drop it can have is 95%. So it's pretty damn big percentage uh, likelihood of a stock not going more than 52%. And then there's less than 1%. So this area right here, there's less than 1% chance that a stock is going to drop 60% or more. Now, question is how do I use it in trading so knowing all that I've just explained to you the, the the likelihood of the percentage drops and how low it can really go so you know that there's a less 1% chance probability that a stock can drop more than 60% knowing that you can space out your positions accordingly so what does that mean? So let's say I have a stock and this stock drops from ten dollars, it drops to seven. And immediately, just like most people, you have the urge, you have FOMO, you have fear of missing out, and you wanna buy the stock, which is probably not the very smart decision. So you decide to buy this and you don't wait for a spike you don't wait for anything you just buy it right here well to be smart please buy at least one third of your whole position so if you want to buy a thousand shares buy 300 shares okay so buy 300 shares right here because what if what if this thing doesn't really bounce. What if it keeps going? And there is a 30% chance that it will keep going down according to the bell shape we just built. So what do you do here? So you bought one third here. You buy another third. So now you're two thirds into your position and you wait for this bounce, right? So this is the safe way to do it. And um, I hope I, I explained it well. Uh, if there's any questions, you guys go ahead and ask in comments. But yeah, this is uh, how I trade this strategy now. I don't go all in just this first drop, especially if the drop is close to 30%. Because I know there's a 30% chance that it will go lower than 30%. That's why you need to manage your positions and uh, break them down in a few parts so you can average average down your position and get better price and as a result you you can make more money than if you just load everything right here if you find this video informative and useful 
please hit the like button below. Also, I have a goal. I want to have a thousand subscribers by the end of 2021. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. And see you guys next time.